Take 22! Hi guys, for those of you that don't know me, my name's Kadina. I'm currently a student studying at Manchester Met doing physiotherapy. I'm also a national standard athlete doing sprints and in September I was diagnosed with MS. So my reasons for doing this blog are due to the attention I gained after my article came out. Um, so I had an article about all the problems that I've gone through this summer, which I'll explain a bit later. Um, and a lot of people kind of started messaging me, asking me for advice, just talking to me because they wanted someone to talk to that was in a similar situation. So that was really good because most of them I'd never spoke to before. So for random people to feel comfortable talking to me, that was really amazing. So I thought this would be a chance that I could get people to kind of ask me questions and I could talk about certain subjects and maybe people would kind of get help or in the words that I'm saying. Um, so yeah, another thing was I wanted to set up a charity. So I wanted to get people to know me, um, people to realise what I'm doing so I can get some support to the charity. I wanted to be able to help other people in my situation. Um, other young people going through hard times like this, being diagnosed with a lifelong condition, um, allow us to meet up, go do fun things on a day out, um, talk to each other, just to be able to be in contact with someone that you can kind of talk to that's not a friend um, or family because sometimes the emotional connection can make it hard to explain certain things to them. Um, I also wanted to do this due to um, one of the people I spoke to um, after my diagnosis and after the article came out. So I'll explain to you quickly what happened to me this summer. Um, in May, on May the 22nd, I was rushed into hospital after a competition that I had. Um, I had right-sided weakness and when it was unable to speak. Um, and then I was diagnosed with a stroke. So I spent two weeks in hospital and then rehabbed. Um, I found out during the time being in hospital, I was on a programme um, for British Skeleton. Um, so I progressed onto the next stage. So through my rehab, I managed to get back um, to full fitness, go down to Bath to have testing, and I got through not one but two stages um, before I was told it was, wasn't was possible for me to stay on due to my health condition. Um, that was a bit kind of disheartening, but at the same time it was really pleasing to know because I was said to be the fastest female there, um, which was great because I had stroke two months before that. Um, I then kind of thought, let's get back into training. I was back training for athletics. I was able to keep up with my group, if not kind of be ahead of them, which was great. So I felt like I was getting back. And then in September, unfortunately, I started um, experiencing some more symptoms. Uh, once again, I was rushed into hospital. Um, I had to wait a while, get a load of tests. Um, and then I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis or MS. Um, currently, I'm struggling with um, kind of tingling and numbness from my chest kind of downwards um my right hand spasms quite a bit so i'm unable to write or provide cook meals for myself um i'm struggling to walk because of the spasms kind of in my legs and in my abdomen um but yeah apart from that i'm all smiley so that's what happened to me um i got an article wrote about that um to kind of let other people know and make them aware and there was a girl that came forward to me to speak to me who was also an athlete and she was diagnosed with ms in february now this girl messaged me um, because she wanted to know how I was so strong and because she said she struggled getting onto the track, not feeling confident and not feeling she was as good as the other athletes. Um, we got speaking, um, I gave her my number so she could be in contact with me at any time um, and we had a nice conversation, I was able to talk to her, tell her how to feel confident, um, explain to her that she needs to be positive and see all this that she's going through was a positive thing, even though it can be hard sometimes. Um, and I eventually found out that this girl um, had run PBs consistently this year. Um, she'd taken three seconds off her PB. Um, she'd also gone through her A-levels at this time. So she was diagnosed in February and went through her A-levels and found out in July this year that she'd got amazing grades. I think it was a couple of A's and A-stars, which is amazing. Um, so for her to kind of go through all this while kind of getting over the fact that she'd been diagnosed with MS, struggling with symptoms, and then coming out on the track and telling me that she didn't feel like she was good enough. Wow. She's probably one of the strongest people I've met because I know how hard it can be to get back. 
I know how hard it can be psychologically. I know how hard it can be physically. I'm a very mentally strong person. I've always been that way. Um, I'm very determined, very passionate about what I do. Don't like to give up on anything and I work really hard. Um, some people might call me stubborn, but that's kind of helped me in this situation. Um, it's helped me to be able to be positive and to keep moving forward. And I'm glad I've been able to share some of that with other people. But this young girl didn't realise how strong she was. And it wasn't until we got talking and I was mentioning things to her that she'd realised how much she'd actually done in these last few months. Um, to be able to go through all that and get back on the track, she didn't need to fear that she wasn't as strong as anybody else. Because having done all that, she's probably the strongest person on that track. When she stands on a start line, she needs to realise not everyone's been through all the problems that she's going through. No one else is struggling in the same way as she is. So for her to get on the track, she's a lot stronger than she even thought. Um, so she's inspired me. I mean, my inspiration is the people like, or the, it was people like Alison Felix, who's an amazing athlete. But then speaking to kind of different people that are going through different problems, I've realised that people like the girl that I spoke to are the real inspirations. Like people that are going through things and haven't really had that many people to talk to and have kept to themselves but have still battled through it and achieved really good things they're the kind of people that I'm inspired by so with that I want to set up my charity um at the moment I'm currently trying to fundraise for myself I'm trying to get a sponsorship for myself um so I can get back on the track and kind of be there um this young girl also said that I was her role model so I want to be able to be that to her I want to be able to kind of get back and be able to run at a high level so that she can look up to me and so can any other people. Like I want to be there as a role model figure to a lot of people. So I want, um, I'm aiming to get sponsorship. Um, if anyone is interested, please contact me. It'd be really nice. I'm also doing a campaign on a, t a website called Talent Backer. Um, I've kind of set that up and you can look and read my story and make a pledge. Um, any amount of money would be muchly appreciated. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. In terms of my health, uh, I'm currently struggling a bit with my symptoms because I'm in a relapse. Um, I'm going back into hospital later this week for more treatment. Um, I'm currently struggling with my hands mainly. Um, I can't, I've lost all the sensations, so my touch sensations have gone, so it's really hard for me to do stuff. I've got tingling and numbness instead, um, and I'm struggling to walk. Um, but apart from that, I'm all smiles, happy to talk to anyone. Um, so if you want to ask me questions, just want to talk to me, feel free to give me a message and I hope this has been helpful. Thank you. Peace. <laughs>